Hello, everybody. My name is Tianjiao, and today I'm going to present our work, The Fine Grain Alignment for Recipe Embeddings. In this paper, we study the cross-model recipe retrieval task. Specifically, recipe consists of a title, a list of ingredients, a list of instructions, and an image representing the final outcome of the recipe. There are two related retrieval tasks. In the recipe to image retrieval, we have a recipe and we want to retrieve the images. And in the image to recipe tasks, we have an image, we want to retrieve the recipe. Previous works align the recipe and image embeddings in a shared representation space. And often they use separate transformers for textual components and later combine them to achieve a single text embedding. The training objective here is to bring this textual embedding closer to the image embedding. However, such approaches implicitly assume that all three textual components, the title, the ingredients, and the instructions will be always available but in many cases, some components might be missing. For example, it could also be useful to retrieve recipes using only the title or a set of similar ingredients. Motivated by this, we propose a fine grain alignment approach where we directly align the title, ingredients, and instructions with the, with the image. This is the overview of our model farm. We use a hierarchical transformer setup to encode the recipe. Then the title, ingredient, and instruction embeddings are passed through a cross encoder and concatenated to get the final recipe embedding. For the image embedding, we simply use clip. As the right circle highlighted, the fine-grained text image contrastive loss and the hyperbolic embedding loss are our main contributions in this work. We have a number of loss functions in our model. One of them is the image text contrastive loss. In this loss, the text and image encodings from the same recipe are brought closer, while encodings from different recipes are pushed apart. As shown here, we have a text chocolate mousse and an image chocolate mousse, and these two should be brought closer, while the text chocolate mousse and the image chicken salad should be pushed apart. Another loss function is the image text matching loss. In this loss function, the goal is to bring text and image embeddings from the same recipe as close as possible. It does this by converting the task into a binary classification task, where the two classes are the matching and non-matching. For example, in this case, the loss between the text chicken curry and the image chicken curry should be as close to zero as possible. Whereas the text chicken curry with the image chicken salad should be as high as possible. Before I continue to other fun loss functions, I want to first explain the structure of our data set a little bit. In our data set, each recipe is matched with one of the recipe categories. The categories include a wide range of food types. This is an inherent hierarchical structure among the recipe categories. For example, many recipes can be placed under dessert, then cakes, as dessert can be further divided into cheesecakes, chocolate cakes, and so on. To capture this information for the recipe categories, previous works often use the semantic loss. This loss is very similar to our image text contrastive loss, but the difference is that in semantic loss, the negative samples are chosen from the different recipe classes. Whereas in image text contrastive loss, the negative may come from the same class. However, this loss still cannot fully encode the hierarchical structure. 
Therefore, we further propose to present recipe in hyperbolic space so that we can better capture the varying degrees of similarity between them. To do that, we added the hyperbolic embedding loss, which help us to better encode the hierarchical structure of the recipe categories. We evaluated our model farm using the recipe 1N dataset. We compare farm against several state of art baselines. Following previous works, we provided uh, retrieval accuracy metrics R at 1, R at 5, and R at 10, which indicate the number of correct retrieved items given only the top case samples. We observed that farm outperforms all baselines. More specifically, farm outperforms the best baseline T food by 1.4 on image to recipe task and 1.0 in recipe to image test. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our fine grain alignment, we did an ablation study when one or more recipe components are missing. We compare it with the best baseline T food again. Here is the result when all the data is available. And now this is the performance without ingredients. We observe that performance dropped significantly, but farm has better performance compared to the tea food with a huge 15 percent point improvement. And now this is the performance without both ingredients and instructions. We observe that farm still performs twice as good as tea food. We observe, observe this improvement consistently across all other components proving the effectiveness of our proposed component level alignment. As shown in this and previous slides, the title seems to have the least effect on the performance, while the ingredients seem to be most useful. Here, we're showing some retrieval samples from image to recipe retrieval task. We observe that while well, both methods retrieve the correct recipe image all top five retrieval image by farm are semantically related, consistently featuring noodles or bakings in all the retrieved samples. In contrast, tea food, although it's capable of retrieve the correct answer, the other retrieved samples are sometimes irrelevant. This might indicate a tendency of emphasizing on peripheral recipe components, such as insignificant ingredients within the dish. To summarize, our main contribution in this work is the fine grain alignment approach, along with the hyperbolic embedding loss function to capture the semantic similarity between different recipe classes. For future work, we plan to explore better ways to encode component embeddings and data augmentation techniques to further improve robustness against missing data. Thank you. This is our presentation.